name is Cheyenne and welcome to, back to my channel. Um, it's been a minute since I've been on YouTube, um, but this seems to be my third Ipsy Glendig! <laughs> so I decided to try something different this month. I googled the September spoilers and I decided to request one. So I decided to request the um, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Sample Mascara because um, I was looking at the spoilers uh, in August and I saw this spoiler but I also saw that there was like this egg white cleanser and I'm actually allergic to egg whites technically so um, I didn't want my skin to have a reaction to a product so I sent her like you send them a little message saying which one you would like and so I sent her a message saying hello I would like that Tarte mascara blah 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 in my September Glam Blake please I just don't want the egg white cleanser as I'm allergic smiley face thank you have a fantastic day um, so then I got back a message saying, Hi Cheyenne, thank you for letting me know your preference. You are set to receive the Tarte Mascara in your September Glam Bag. Hope you love it. Please let me know if you need anything else. And thank you for being a part of the Ipsy community. Best regards, Kim. Um, I really, I thought that was it. I thought that was all. Um, and I was satisfied with my answer. So then, all of a sudden, I got this follow-up message, which I was not expecting. So I thought the request had been resolved as of those the two emails. And then so I get a follow-up email on um, 26, 27, 28, 29, four days later I got like an, I got a follow-up email from Kim who said, I just wanted to follow up with you. You mentioned that you're allergic to egg white cleanser. Sorry about that. We work closely with our brand partners to make sure that all of our products are safe for general use, but we have a very diverse community with a lot of different allergies and sensitivities. We are working on adjusting the beauty profile to better fit the individual needs of our members. But right now, we cannot guarantee that your glam bag will be free of this particular ingredient. I can't guarantee that you won't receive this product in your next glam bag. However, I can opt you out of receiving cleansers in general if you would like. So you can be opted out of receiving certain products, like say I never want to receive a cleanser again, I can opt out of it, or I can opt out of getting nail polishes. Um, so she's like, if you do receive a product that you're sensitive to, please write back and I'll be happy to help. Best regards, Kim. So I guess my service representative was Kim. Um, I think it's really sweet that she sent me a follow-up email. Um, I had thought that everything had been resolved. The first email, I was really happy. Um, right after that email, I had rated their customer service of 10 out of 10 stars or whatever for the feedback that they had given me. So um, the fact that she thought about it again and sent me a, another email, uh, it kind of made my day. I was like, oh, oh my god, people actually care, right? Um, so I couldn't believe she had sent that, so then I was like, it's egg whites that I'm allergic to. If I do get a product, it's fine. I have other people in my life that I can give it to, but if you opt me out for cleansers, that's okay too. Because I have a lot of sensitivities with cleansers, I'm finding. Ever since I was pregnant, my skin's changed. Um, so I said, yeah, you can opt me out for cleansers, that'd be great. Uh, thank you so much for your customer service. I'd say it's been beyond average. Thank you for caring about my sensitivities. Um, and I said I cannot wait for my next bag. And then she replied again, saying, you're welcome. Thank you so much for your positive reviews. Uh, because I did mention that, I guess, I did mention that I did a YouTube video reviewing their product and just saying that, you know, I had given it a positive review. Um, and so they said, you're welcome. Thank you so much for your positive review. Uh, the feedback is so helpful to us to know we're doing how we're doing. We love to hear happy Ipster stories. Please let me know if you need anything else. Have a beautiful day. Kim. And so there's always like the rate my response, so I like that. So I, I did rate her response a second time, um, saying that I was 10 out of 10 stars, super happy, like couldn't believe that they had thought of me again, that they could take the time out of their day to go and like send a second message because they were concerned about my allergies. And to me, that means so much because they have so many subscribers, like that it's 
like they probably get a lot with customer service, right? Like a lot of people talking to them. So to, the fact that they would even think to four days later send another message just blew my mind. And I've never had customer service like that um, online. So I was very excited. But I also want to um, mention that they've got like this app here. So there's the Ipsy app. And if you open it up, it says love Ipsy, rate it five stars. You can whatever but it like tells you about your bag like what's going to be in your bag um but you can also like update your profile and stuff like that and you can do everything on here there's like offers if you live in the states if you live in canada you can't really get their like their ipsy offers you you can't like get those um but you can redeem points every time you uh review a product you get 15 points and every time somebody subscribes because of you, you get 250 points. So that's what I get when you guys hit my referral link and sign up for your own bag. I get an extra 250 points towards things so that I can get, um, I can redeem like products for my next bag. And it would just be like an extra thing thrown into my bag. Um, this pin set is really cool. <laughs> I don't have 600 points yet, so I can't really redeem anything. Like, I could, um, at 500 points, I can re uh, redeem this bum bum cream. Oh my god. I really want to try that. I heard it's so good. But, um, I technically don't have enough points to redeem anything at this point, which is fine. Um, I'll, I'll earn points every time I review. So, yeah, so that's just a little insight into this. Um, but I just wanted to point out the customer service care. I couldn't believe it. I was super happy and it made me feel very appreciated as a customer and it made me not want to like cancel my bag or anything, you know, like I really like my product bag and I'm happy to receive them. So I wasn't thinking about canceling anyway, but if in the future I received a bag that was like maybe shoddy, I wouldn't want to cancel that bag automatically because I really appreciate the customer service that they are giving me. So I value that over like a shoddy bag once, you know. But let's get into this bag! Oh! It is September! So I actually got this early this year, or this year, geez, month. I got it early this month. Um, Okay, so I got it early this month. Uh, I said it was scheduled to come on the 19th for me, but it is the 14th and I have received it. Oh. Okay, it doesn't have a smell to it, which is nice. You know, usually with like a fake leather, that it would. But it's got these nice um, bumps. I don't know if you can see it if I put it at that angle. But it's got like a nice bump texture. It's, it's interesting, it's a nice feel got Ipsy on the tags. I prefer, uh, like my favorite bag so far was my Gutan bag and I really liked this little metal tab and I like um, like this layout. I think this was like my favorite bag so far. Um, so I really preferred this one but this is a nice bag to receive too and it matches like my backpack so um, I can throw this in to keep things organized. It's a nice uh, gold zipper. Oh, there's the glam bag. Oh, okay, so it's like a navy or royal blue sort of on the inside. So that's super nice, super interesting. Let's take out our card. So it's this is the like a boss bag. Um, then they used, there was a female uh, co-founder for a beauty, Korean beauty site, um, the Soko Glam and the Clog. Um, she's also a author of the little book of skincare and a licensed esthetician. So she's a pretty important woman. Um, her name's Charlotte Ch Ch Cho. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. I really am. Um... So this month's glam bag is all about being the strongest, most fearless version of you. Nothing can make me feel more like a boss than when I can stop to help others reach their goals too. 
Starting SoCo Glam was the way for me to share my best skincare secrets so that I can help people, help all people believe that there is only good skin days ahead. I included one of my absolute fave SoCo Glam K beauty products in your glam bag. I've specifically curated skincare products for you because skincare truly is the key to flawless makeup and confidence. I can't wait for you to try it and put your best face forward. Much love, Charlotte. So I've already went onto the Ipsy app and you can um, read her story, um, watch a video about her using all this skincare. So that was um, pretty interesting. She's a pretty inspiring lady from what I've seen about her. Um, I'm pretty happy that they would empower strong business women. So let's get into our bag! Woo! Alright, so the first thing I'm seeing is a black cap clear bottle. Oh, this is one of the skincare items. Um, I do believe that skincare is the basis to good makeup because without like a good foundation, the house won't lay right, right? So, advanced snail. Snail? 96 muslin power essence formulated with 90 no <laughs> formulated with 96 snail secretion this essence protects the skin from moisture loss while keeping the skin smooth and healthy uh, <laughs> so this bag is not friendly for vegans or vegetarians mm. Oh, a great tip, water. Water, keeping hydrated, helps keep your skin great. So let's open it up. Okay, so it comes with like a little foil. Whoa, it seems pretty liquidy in there. Oh no, I've got fake nails. So I need a set of tweezers to get this foil off. Those are my nails. Oh, it kind of shot out of there. Okay, let's smell it. There's no smell. Oh, it's a, it's a glass bottle. Oh. Yeah. Yes, now. So I'd have to say that this bottle is not like easy to get product out and smacking it is kind of gross but it's so intriguing. I don't know why that's so satisfying getting like the string, blah, 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 stringy bits. doesn't have like a smell or if it is like a smell it's not like a bad smell. Hmm. Pleasantly surprised so far. Still afraid. Three, two, one. Oh, it's on my face. <laughs> okay, it's it's on my face. There is snail secretion on my face. Not enough apparently to get my whole face. So back to the slamming process. I am not liking how you get this out of here. <clears throat> this is a pain in the arse. Okay, I got more out. Alright. Ooh. That feels funny. And so you're supposed to use this before you use like any primer or anything. But snail secretion would make me think that it was nice and sticky and would old foundation pretty good yeah still no smell um, I'm gonna let that dry down and we'll see if it's sticky okay next thing is something bubble wrapped let me see let me see what is it pixie by Petra so it is a fresh face blush. Oh, and it's plastic wrapped. I do enjoy seeing it bubble wrapped. 
and plastic wrapped makes me feel like they took care with my bag so it is a fresh fresh fleece blush that's a pretty dark color for blush for me swirl it or oh, that's the snail hand oh, we'll just stick it on here so that is just one swipe back and forth it's a pretty pigmented little blush Ugh. I'm just going to take my Firma Beauty 103 brush that I got in a previous bag. Oh, powder. That's some kickback. I'll be right back. Creaky door. Okay, so I just literally put it down to run out to my son. It's powder. There's product on there kicks back quite a lot. Doesn't really ruin it too much though. So let's let's try this on. Wait. It's kind of not that sticky, but not bad. All right. So that is like the wrong color blush for me. Um it's too like brown based for my skin type, which is ghost, if you didn't know. So this would probably be more of like a bronzer for me. I don't know, let's try it as a bronzer. It says it's a blush, but it looks like a bronzer. Ugh. It's too orange toned. Well, it bronzes up my face. It's all right. I'll use it probably more as a bronzer. why not there we go that is that all over my face let's dive back into our bag what else can we pull out oh all right smashbox photo focus foundation primer in radiance with hyaluronic acid Hyaluronic acid is such a great ingredient because it binds um, 1,000 times its weight in water, or 100, 100 times its weight in water to your face. So let's just sample that, pull it a little bit. So Smashbox is known for making good primers. That's um. A bit dark for me and it's really super shiny so I'm, I'm betting it would make a great radiance primer but I'm thinking I'm thinking if you're working with me this might make a good highlight on bare skin right right maybe let's try that so I'm just gonna use it as a highlight Not bad. It makes a pretty good highlight on natural skin. Um, this might work a bit better for people who have a little bit darker of a complexion than I do. I got a pretty fair complexion, so I think this works as a pretty good highlight, though. Um, it's not very blinding, and you might not be able to see it on the camera. But in person, I promise it does look pretty good. Um, the only thing is, is it doesn't blend out as nice as a highlighter, designated highlighter would. But it's not its intended purpose. It's supposed to be like a base for your makeup. But I think it looks cute as a natural highlight. What's left? What's left? Okay. Okay, so we got two things left. So I'll pull out this one first. It is a pop goes the shadow in Toasted. Now quite a bit of people were complaining about this because they were like, oh, it's just another um, brown shade. And to be honest, yes, I was hoping for the gunmetal color because this color comes in a lot of different glam bags. And I've heard that from so many channels um, for this one product, but I'm pretty happy to still receive it, you know, because it's always good to have a neutral eyeshadow especially for most people who don't have a lot of makeup and are just building their collection oh i didn't even give you a swatch i'm just 
directly under the eye, so bad Cheyenne. Thoroughly impressed. That's a really nice shadow. I am digging it. Shadow, no shadow. Uh, let's just do a little swatch. Clean finger. Swirly, swirly, swirl. I don't know. I think that's pretty, pretty nice. It's, it's really nice. So I, I have no reason to complain. I'm just gonna put on the other. Uh, you're gonna hear his mobile in the background. That's fine. So back to this um, is Elizabeth Matt Mott. Elizabeth Mott Pop goes the shadow premium eyeshadow in toasted. Um, it's on my eyes right now. And some people complained about the color. I personally think the color is super nice. Um, the packaging is cheap, but it works in an advantage for. What I think is that you could totally just take the shadow, pop it. It's gonna stay pretty, like, past the drop test. There's the drop test, let's see. Ah, pick it up. <clears throat> Did it survive the drop test? If not, I'm sorry. It survived the drop test. So this would be perfect to just throw into your bag and then if you needed to go somewhere, but you forgot to put on makeup, this is a very basic general shade um, that's good for many, many, many skin types, skin tones, I mean. Um, so you could literally just take your finger, pat this on your eyelid, and just have that little punch of color to help get you through your event or whatever you're needing your splash of color on there for. So I think this is a perfect little um, basic shadow for that purpose. And I'm glad to have it, and I will be throwing it into my bag for that purpose. Next, and last, finally not least, the one item I requested for this video. Um, I wanted to see if the requesting system worked. I wanted to try that for you guys, tell you my feedback on it. I heard that if, um, I'm not sure if this is true. Just saying that. Um, I heard that if you request one of the items, that they disregard your preferences for the other items that you receive in your bag. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but this is what I requested. So I got the Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. And it is by Tarte. Just comes in a little purple. It's cute. I like it. It's tiny. Oh, that's a huge one. <laughs> That's a huge wand, and let's just apply it, see how it goes. So I did get a little bit on my skin. Good thing I'm not wearing foundation and can just like smudge it off, eh? Um, with without. I don't know, you tell me. I think it's nice. It makes a bold statement. The formula is nice. It feels good to put it on. Not sure if it flakes or not. Um, it didn't do too bad of a job separating and lengthening my lashes. It did a pretty good job like lengthening them. I'm not sure I necessarily like how the brush like separated them. Um, it applied pretty chunky. It did get on my lid. It's a bit more of a liquidy consistency um, than the mascara that I am used to. Uh, I don't know. It's not a flop for me and it's not like, it's not bad. I requested this product. I clearly wanted to try it. Um, but I'm not just sure I like the way it applies. So I've gathered my thoughts on this bag and what I think. So, this black Ipsy bag, Ipsy, um, with the blue interior, the gold zipper. I like it. I, from the first picture that I saw of it, I didn't think I was gonna like it. I was like, oh, oh, and I don't even know why I felt like that. Um, I think it's because like the other bags were very fun 
like um, the Gutan bag. That was like my first bag ever, and it's my favorite bag. And then like Wild and Free with like the pink zipper. That I really like this bag too. Um, these bags have become very useful to me. They uh, turn into like organizational bags for me. So like. My Gudum bag houses all my lipsticks, the other one houses like my concealers and stuff like that. Thank you so so much for watching, I really hope you liked my review um, slash try on and detailing into customer service and the uh, selecting thing, I hope you enjoyed my process on that. Um, if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate it, I super enjoy it. Um, but what I really appreciate is when you hit subscribe to my channel because it makes me know that you like my videos and that you want to continue seeing them. And right now I have 13 subscribers, which is my lucky number, so I think things are going pretty well for me here on YouTube. And I'm pleasantly surprised and I will continue to film more videos. I am getting right into the swing of Halloween, so you are about to see a lot of Halloween videos posted up online for you. Um, hopefully it will help you pick out your costume or if you've already picked your costume hopefully it will help you uh, design the makeup for your costume so please stay tuned for that and please stay tuned for my uh, BoxyCharm unboxing which is coming up next and I also subscribed to the FabFitFun fun box like two or three days ago so hopefully that will arrive in the mail soon and uh, I can review that for you guys but other than that um, please like have a great day please have a great day